Well, First News has shared various stories about housing issues. One of those involved people leaving their homes in Youngstown after their rent went up, but say the money wasn't being used to make repairs. WKBN.com executive producer Chelsea Simeon followed up with one couple during their search for new housing and found they're facing new challenges. Edward and Melody Maddox never expected to be in their situation. They lived in their home on Pasadena Avenue for over four years, and then a new company, Youngstown Houses LLC, bought it and raised their rent. They searched for an affordable home but found some challenges. They applied for a HUD voucher, but the wait could be 18 months to two years. Really? I want to be on my do- at my daughter's for 18 months. I-, I love her to death and I'm truly grateful, but I want my bed, I want my furniture, I want to cook in my kitchen. I mean, I've been on my own since I was like 15, 16 years old and I'm now 56. That's a big adjustment. You're supposed to do for your kids, not your kids do for you. So it's hard. Unfortunately, that's not uncommon. Um, in fact, that's better than I've seen in, in several places, including the housing authority I used to run in Cook County. The, the problem is that only one in four people who qualify for a voucher, uh, income-wise, get it. And as a result, the waiting lists are, are long or closed. Nationally, about 2.5 million households receive a voucher. Last year, the average wait time was 25 months, but that was just for people who were already HUD clients. Edward and Melody are on Social Security, and Edward faces health issues. Me and Eddie both have had hard lives. We have raised our children. We have um, worked our butts off, and I feel we both deserve better. You know, and if it takes a little bit, then God be it, and that's what we're going to do. For now, they will stay with their daughter. Meanwhile, HUD says they need a bigger budget to help people like the Maddoxes. At the end of the day, it's about resources. And that's why this budget, that President Biden's uh, FY25 budget, is the most transformational housing budget in history, because we need more. We need more houses and apartments, and we need more rental assistance. For WKBN, I'm Chelsea Simeon. Now, WKBN found out how the voucher program is handled in Youngstown, as well as what HUD is doing to make improvements. You can read more about that at WKBN.com. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.